today we are going to see a topic in snowflake that is snowflake clustering clustering plays a vital role while processing the queries in snowflake it is a process to optimize the data retrieval in snowflake performs clustering on micro partitions to make sure that similar kind of data are stored in the common micro partition I think you remember one example I have told already about that if you want to retrieve the data for the employees who are all joined between the August and October means that date is the key here. Okay. So if we cluster on the date, then at Snowflake, if we perform clustering, then Snowflake makes sure that data is not scattered over the multiple micro partition unless it exacts the space for that particular micro partition. So, Snowflake by default, tables are sorted and ordered along the natural dimensions. Normally, the date will be given as the cluster key, but in due course, if it is not suitable means we can choose our own cluster key that means we can go for the that uh, some other dates okay higher date or birth date likewise even you can go for the employee name like that you can choose your own cluster key so we can test multiple cluster key that can perform better clustering helps for the faster data retrieval Table data that is not sorted or partially start sorted means it may impact the performance. That means the retrieval will be slower. Clustering key are useful for very large tables. And if filter criteria is not met means it keeps the data. Once the cluster key is defined, there is no need of the admin unless you drop or modify the cluster key normally when we can use the cluster key means if the performance of the query is not good means we can go for the clustering yeah. data is sorted and stored by the column actually pruning i think uh, you know about pruning pruning means uh, that when the micro partitions are not needed for the query, then the snowflake will prune it. Prune means it is not required when there is no need of scanning it. Only the required uh, micro partitions will be scanned. You can go for column level pruning also. If particular columns are required, then it will select only the particular columns. The rest of the columns will be pruned. It maintains the clustering metadata for the micro partitions what is the metadata for the clustering means the total number of micro partitions that comprises the table and overlapping details and depth of the overlapping you will see about the that the clustering depth i will i will show on uh, the diagram then you can easily understand how the the, the data spreads among the micro partitions how we are clustering how the clustering helps us to that uh, reduce the overlap okay next video we will see that okay thanks bye